Hello, a dramatic change is on the way through the Easter weekend, but some of us have already had something of a change between yesterday and today. It's already turned cooler for a large part of the country, but still it's dry and bright for many, and uh, many of us will see some sunny spells through the rest of Thursday. Here's the satellite image. It does show quite a lot of cloud across parts of uh, the Midlands and Wales, and we even had some Saharan dust in the atmosphere across the south earlier on. As we go through the day, we'll keep a lot of cloud across these central and eastern parts, but we should see quite a lot of sunshine, albeit fairly hazy, over south well, southwest England, western Scotland, northern and western parts of Northern Ireland. There's a fairly keen breeze picking up across East Anglia and the southeast, coming in from the North Sea, bringing a big change in temperatures here, where we've seen values over 20 degrees for the past few days. Parts of that east coast struggling to get much above 9 or 10 Celsius, so feeling a lot colder here. Meanwhile, some warmth hangs on in the southwest. We could again, through parts of Devon and Cornwall, get up to 20, maybe 21. But for most, we're in the low to mid-teens, so still pretty mild for the time of year. Through the evening and overnight, we're not going to see a great deal of change. Most places will again be dry. We'll always continue to see some cloud just uh, coming in at times across parts of eastern England. It's where the skies stay clear, though, and with light winds, it will turn quite cold. And uh, across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, certainly in rural areas, there'll be a touch of frost. Even towns and cities across Scotland getting down certainly close to freezing. So a chilly start to Good Friday, and uh, gardeners take note, there will be more frosts to come in the coming nights. But uh, for most, Good Friday's a fine-looking day. A lot of cloud again across these eastern parts, so not the sunny skies we had earlier in the week. But certainly for many central and western areas, most of the day will be blue skies, a very pleasant bank holiday all in all. And temperatures actually around about or a little above average in the sunshine with light winds feeling pretty pleasant. But of course, a lot cooler than it has been. So that is going to be quite noticeable. And again, those North Sea coasts will be particularly chilly with the breeze off the sea here. And again, just 9 or 10 Celsius compared to over 20 degrees just a few days ago is a bit of a change. More of a change, though, coming later on in the weekends. But through Friday evening, again, not a great deal going on. Some cloud here and there, but most places dry and clear. And where we've got those clear skies, again, uh, we could easily see a frost by Saturday morning. Saturday itself looking fine, thanks to high pressure. So, again, dry for most. Fairly cloudy in places, but some sunshine. But look at this. This cold front is going to bring, uh, bring a big change through the Easter weekend. Easter day itself, still largely fine, certainly across the south, but it will bring some rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but it introduces much colder air, really plunging south from the Arctic across the whole country by the time we get to Monday. Cold enough for snow showers and hail showers almost anywhere and a keen, strong wind bringing a significant wind chill. So we are going to see a dramatic change through the weekend. Now, for much of the weekend, the weather's going to be dry and fine. England and Wales will still be fine on Sunday, but the change happens through Sunday across Scotland and Northern Ireland and then all places by Monday. It will be much, much colder. Stay up to date with the latest from the Met Office and the best way to do that, of course, is to follow us on social media.